All right, so many of you have been asking for me to do the downtown drop challenges. Now, as you can see, I was waiting for them all to be unlocked so I could do them all in one single video. I'm not Gatu who does one per video and milks you guys for all the money that he can get. Oh no, I'm gonna do them all in one single video here. But first, a lot of people said, well, you can't buy the skins anymore. You can, you just have to go into the downtown drop challenge screen as you can see here and click the top one and then it comes up like you're in the item shop so it's 1800 v bucks for the jordan skin and the jordan female i guess it's got the michael jordan logo on the back so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase these right now so we can do some of these challenges so now you can see the clutch and grind skins let's see so there's three for each yep play any three creative games so some of these are real easy collect 50 basketballs in creative mode so I'm gonna show you a way to do these really, really quickly. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to creative mode here and go up to one of these featured things and hold square to set island code. And then up at the top, we're gonna to delete the code that's up there and we're gonna put in our own custom code. So here it is, it's 9756 and you'll see at the very top, it says Jordan Skins Drop Down Challenges Fast Version 3, updated with all the challenges. So once you enter that, hit triangle to select the island and it should spawn the island that we need. And this island will let you complete all the challenges super cooper fast. So I'm gonna try it out myself and we're gonna see if this indeed works. So I haven't done any of the challenges, not a single one. So here it goes, it says, it wouldn't let me update the other map, so I made this, hope it helps, made by user Not Joss. So credit obviously goes to Not Joss for making this. I think that's how you say it, Not Joss. But we're gonna go in here and we're gonna try and do all the challenges and see how long it takes us. So if you go to details here, it says version three of the map, update with all the challenges, I hope it helps. Okay, so we're gonna see. You can actually see his support creator code right here. It's just dead, that's weird. <laughs> mine, by the way, if you want to enter mine and help my daughter out, it's Tabor Time, all one word. See how I deleted that space? It likes to put a space on the end, and if you try to do it like that, it won't work. So delete that space and then push R2 and square to accept, and it should work. Yes, there's the there's the check mark that we want to see. So we're going to start this game. Let's see how this works. I've never done this, so I have no idea what it's going to do. We're going to do this together here. Okay, so he says, read this. I had to make a new map because I wasn't able to update the other one. Yes, we know this. This contains all the downtown drop LTM challenges that can be done here. Other challenges can only be done in the downtown drop LTM. Jordan challenges, which are for these skins, can still be done quickly and the course remains untouched. I also updated the right entry so it's faster to get the coins room. Okay, so let's try this out. There's his creator code once more. And there's the guy that made it. If you finish one and want to do the other one, just restart the island. Complete both Jordan skins challenges in less than two minutes. All right, so we're going to do the Jordan path first. Let's see what this does. Now, I didn't even read what the Jordan skin challenges were. Holy crap, look at this. Collect 50 shoes. Oh, wow, you get Speedy Gonzalez fast as fast can be. Wow. Oh, that was awesome. Collect 50 basketballs. Okay, so obviously it must be way, way harder than this normally. Okay, so we did all those. Collect 100 tiles, run around the cube until you hit 100. This cube? We just gotta keep running around in the same one? Does this keep counting when I go over the ones over and over? Okay, apparently it does. <laughs> this, is, this guy is awesome. I can't believe he made this. This is the best thing. I'm gonna have to show this to my son, Nolan, so he can get these done as well. Of course, he doesn't have the skins yet. So he's gonna... He's gonna wanna buy those. I don't think he has enough V-Bucks, so. Maybe I'll surprise him, I don't know yet. This is making me dizzy though. All right, so I think we just completed all those. Let's just, let's just double check here. I guess we can't see. Pick up 100 coins in three different matches, pick them up once, then restart the island. After that, use the right entry in the beginning, okay? So now we gotta grab all these. No, 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 no. Ha, that is so awesome. You're done, keep walking to finish. Let's see what happens. And there's his code once again. If you finish one and wanna do the other, just restart the island. Okay, so we did all those. 
All right, so I did some testing, and unfortunately, when you're done with one game, you have to go to leave creative and go all the way back out and then respawn the island entirely for it to count as another game. But again, you go to this little shortcut area, and you'll get the fast as fast can be. You'll never catch me. NBA Jam, my feet are on fire. Speed burst. And then you'll take the little shortcut. And once you do this three times, then you should be good to go for that portion of the challenge. Now, just restart the island. Okay, so now we're gonna restart. So this time I'm just gonna end the game because I should be able to do the left side now. So let's see if this works. All right, so let's take a peek at the left side now. This says, <clears throat> so these are the downtown drop challenges, but it says you can't do all of them here. So we're gonna see which ones we can do and what we can't. Change the color of a thousand tiles. Run around the room until you finish it. <coughs> Okay, so obviously this is going to take me just a little time, so I'll probably fast forward here for you guys. Okay, so after a while, I'm not done yet, but after a while your speed burst runs out, so you got to go back just a little ways and get that speed burst once again. I'm about 500 right now, still going strong. Boy, I can't imagine doing this without the speed burst. There we go, that's a thousand. That would take forever. Wow! Alright, dance between two food trucks, not available, only in drop town. Okay, so we can't do the dance between find jonesy that can only be done we'll have to do that one next collect a basketball coin and shoe in a single match well look at that yoink 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 find jonesy in the sewers can only be done in downtown okay so i guess a lot of these can only be done in downtown that stinks go faster than 30 through speed okay okay jeez i'm a little disappointed all right, what's this one? I didn't even see. Yep. Spray an ice cream truck. If it doesn't work for you, try restarting the map. It works. Spray an ice cream truck. Let me find a spray. All right, well, I can't get the spray one to work. But it did say if it doesn't work right away, then, then restart the map. So we might try that. Tried all the challenges before publishing. Some can't be done here, hence the chalkboards. I hope I still helped keep walking to the finish. Okay, so once you do that map that I just showcased, you'll have all the character skin challenges done. There's only three apiece for the male and female. But as you can see, we still have a boatload of challenges to do. And these are all done, unfortunately, in the Downtown Drop game mode. So we're gonna have to do them there. I'm gonna jump in right now and I'm gonna start showing you all these challenges. The only one I couldn't get to work in that creative map was the spray and ice cream truck. So I don't know, he said it would work, but I tried it three times and it didn't. So we might have to do that in the downtown drop mode. All right, so we're gonna do the on fire letters first. So we have to collect the letters on fire. Let me show you exactly where you have to go for these. Man, this is the first time I've ever played this. This is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! So the first letter is O, right here next to the basketball courts. Hold square to collect it. So from that letter, you want to go down. Oh, okay, you butthead. <laughs> from that letter, you want to go down past this green car and down this slippery slope, if you can eh, maneuver. Stay on the right side. And you'll eventually come down a little secret passage down here. And this is the N. Simply hold square to collect it, like before. If it lets me, come on. All right, so from this end location, you wanna push yourself up the stairs if you can, there you go. And we're gonna go this side. Okay, so the F is right here. Got a few letters left to go. Now from the F, we're gonna go down this side on the left here. We're looking for the I. past the semi truck and it should be right here. All right, now from the eye location, we're gonna just follow this down here. There's a few flaming hoops right here if you wanna blast yourself through them. I just missed that. Now the R is right behind this purple thing. I just went flying right by it like a bozo. But the R is right here in front of the red semi and the loans place. It's so hard to collect these letters. You're like s scooting all over the place. 
Now we just need to get the E. So what we're going to do is just respawn. And I believe the E should be right at the start. Let's see. Yes, here's the E right next to... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Right next to their little red... Okay, buddy. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> now the E should be right next to this little red car. Yes. And be careful because it tries to scoot you forward right away. And that's on fire. So here's the first speed trap. And if you come down this big hill here, you should be able to hit this. Like that guy easily did it, 33. Now the other speed trap is at the very end of the course. So you want to be coming full speed ahead. Let's see if I can... I've already done that one that I passed by right there. So that's why I'm not showing you that again. But if you just come down fast like this, you're going to be going faster than 30 miles an hour. So here's the hill. You want to come soaring down as fast as you can. Get that little, uh, here's the speed trap right here. Get the flaming hoop if you can. Yeah, super easy. Super easy. Some of these challenges are real easy. All right, now for the ice cream truck, we have to spray it with an emo. So this one is super easy as well. I think there's only one ice cream truck, to be honest. I'm not sure. Now on your way, you can try to hit some of these flaming hoops if you haven't done so yet. So just follow the course as normal. Once you get to the pizza pit, truck you're gonna turn right here now the ice cream truck is right in front of this blue guy you see it right there parked right there you got to land right in front of it so come down here very gradually and slam right into it and then you can just do a spray and boom spray an ice cream truck right there that was easy peasy now hitting some of these stupid hoops on the other hand not so easy all right now we're gonna find some of the Jonesy characters so when you start right away if you remember where the O was for the on fire, which I showed you, the basketball courts are after this first drop and on your left at the very end. Hey, there's the disco baller. Did I do that? I didn't do that. So here's the basketball court right here. You can just slide your way in. Oh, jeez, or miss the door. Once you get through the door, Jonesy, this is not Bunker Jonesy, it's just Jonesy, is in the back, green as can be. Hey, brother. Now, while you're at the basketball court, you can do a emote or a dance and get that challenge done as well. All right, so the next Jonesy we need is probably the hardest one to get to. So here's the basketball courts, which I just showed you. If you take a right here, this is where we need to go. There's three green signs right down here, as you can see. So right after them is where you need to stop. And the goal is to impulse ourselves up into that rooftop right there. It's super hard to do, for me at least. So it might take you a few tries, but as you can see, Jonesy is up there. So bounce yourself up one more time. Try not to fling yourself off after all that hard work. And there's the rooftop Jonesy, the little scallywag. All right, so from here, we need to find the back of the truck Jonesy. So just continue on the map. Just go down each hill. And if you haven't done any of the flaming rings yet, try to, wow, I'm lagging. Try to jump your way through these. Use your impulse grenades where necessary. But just go on to the end where you see that. Oh, geez, I didn't mean to come down here. All right, well, there's a hidden shortcut for you. <laughs> I, I don't know where this takes me out, actually. Let's see. I'm in the sewage. Okay, okay well, there was so there was Jonesy in the sewer, but that's not the one I was trying to show you. So right here, once you come out of that holographic thing, there's a creepy hidden alley back here. And there is the last Jonesy right there in the back of the truck. And that completes that one. So as you saw, I also showed you a shortcut and the sewer Jonesy. So we're, uh, we're well on our way here. All right, so this time we need to find the fence Jonesy. So if you remember where the ice cream truck was, that's where we're heading. And again, if you haven't done any of the hoops yet, Try to make your way through them as best as you can. Some of them are pretty difficult. But basically, we're just going to follow the map until the ice cream truck. So it's not after this second drop, but it's the third drop down that we need to focus on. So here we come. This is the third drop. So this time, 
There's the ice cream truck. We want to slow ourselves down and linger to the left here. And eventually, we're going to see a little secret fence here. Yep, right here. Zip! And lo and behold, that creeper Jonesy is creeping back here. Hey, brother. That's the behind the fence Jonesy. Now, if you missed my sewer part, because I kind of did that unexpectedly, again, right, right by the ice cream truck is where you want to be. And stay in the center this time. And you can see a little hole here. So kind of kind of go slow. This is also a secret shortcut. And drop down here. And it will lead you straight to Creeper Sewer Jonesy. <laughs> Why is Jonesy creeping all over the place? I don't know. But it's pretty funny. There he is right there. And that would have counted had I not already done it. All right, now the dance or emote between two food trucks is also pretty easy. If you remember, we found some of the letters right next to the two food trucks. So again, do the course as you normally would. I think the food trucks are on the second drop down. Let's see. Let's see if they're on this way. They should be, yes, they're at the very end of this drop down. Woo, try to get some hang time. So there's the two food trucks right here. Just park yourself in between them. Ah, try to slow down and do anything. And there's the dancer emote between two food trucks. Okay, now one challenge I want to do again because you may not have seen me do it earlier on in this video is the trick jump. So once you spawn in, simply respawn and then hit triangle and it'll put you back at a perfect spot. All right, so once you respawn, get a boost of speed right in the middle here and then you'll come flying down here and line yourself up right in the middle. And with that boost of speed, you should go flying over there. And that's a trick jump right there. But I already did it, so it doesn't count for me. But that would have counted for you. So just respawn, line yourself up in the middle, get that burst of speed, and just fly over that middle ramp. Now, the only one you should have left at this point is the jump through all six flaming hoops. But the frustrating part is that it doesn't tell you which hoops you've already been through. So it's a bit of trial and error. Most of them are pretty easy to get through. There's one with a big crane on it that I've been struggling with. I think that might be the one I need. I don't know. Now, as I've been saying, they're all easy to spot, but to figure out which ones you've already been through is another story. Like this one, I know I have been, but see, there's no indication that I had already done that. And that's what makes it a bit frustrating. So that was the first one. The second one is right here. I'm pretty sure I've done this one already, but you can either impulse yourself up or use that ramp right there. I impulsed when I did that one. So that's two. Now there's number three. This one's super easy to do. You just take the ramp up here. It starts to lag a little bit. Now this one's kind of hard. This is number four, but to do it, you take this ledge right here and just jump right through it. But I've already done that one as well. So there should be two more. And here they are down here. So this one, you'd have to take this ramp up there and then hit that, or you can impulse yourself. Oh, I missed it. Are you kidding me? No, now I don't know if I've done that one. Let's see. Okay, so I have. So it is this crane one that I have left. All right, so the sixth and final one is on the last downturn down here. And you have to walk this wire on this crane, and it's incredibly hard because the wire is all crooked. So watch here, you jump up here, jump up on the wire and see you fall right off but you have to walk that wire and it's so so very difficult I've tried it maybe six times so far and I've had no luck because you have to walk that wire to the end but to retry just ricochet yourself back a few times just to get some momentum for this ramp and then jump up there and try to straddle the wire oh my god oh my god I was so close come on he couldn't have gave it to me there. Give me a break. All right, we're gonna walk the straight and narrow again. Here we go. Yes, we did it. Okay, so jumping seems to help a bit there. I Normally I was walking the wire. This time I jumped through it. Like I kept jumping as I was on. Let's, let me just try that again. See if that was just luck or... Let's try it again here. We're gonna try the same approach. Straight up on the wire, jump up, and we're gonna keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. Okay, yeah, so the jumping tactic works. 
Wow. All right. So as you saw, that was each and every downtown drop challenge. If you haven't done them yet, you've got four days and three hours as of this video. And as you can see, I did every single one of these. The map at the start helps, but then you have to actually complete the downtown LTM yourself, just as I've showed you. It took me about 45 minutes. However, I was recording these challenges for you. So I imagine once you know how to do them all, it could be done really, really quickly. Maybe 20 minutes at max. But again, you will have to do several instances of the downtown drop LTM because you can't obviously do all these in one. Hopefully this video helped. Share it around. If people still need to get these done, by all means, let them see this video and it should help them out. You can show off your millions of backboards. These are kind of cool, actually. And they go with quite a few skins. And speaking of skins, you'll also get all the grind and clutch styles that come with completing the challenges. Let me know in the comments, did this video help you out? Hopefully it did. I'm not a big fan of the grind skin. The face just a little creepy. I mean, from the backside, which is what you would see if you play them, it's not too bad. But I much prefer Clutch because she is an absolute beauty. Hopefully this video helped you. Good luck on your downtown drop challenges. Four days left. Good luck.